First of all, I'd actually like to say like like Lord and Bravo. I think that's that's like two of the most badass wow, names. You are so I've never uh, thought yeah. about that. You haven't thought Shit. about that? It sounds like the name of the most awesome cop show ever made. Wow. Like, we have been saying we want to do a buddy comedy a cop buddy comedy. We should be mm. detectives. Yeah. Lord Bravo should just be the name of the film. Yo, Lord Bravo just uh, Lord showed up uh, at the up party. On the scene. Um, <laughs> that's pretty cool. There's two bodies. <laughs> but actually I would have loved to see more scenes between the two of you because it's so scene. great. You have this wonderful Sany energy, you're sort of the the awesome comic relief in the film. I mean, that would have been that would have been awesome. It would have been good. We did, you know, we did, we did uh, extracurricular scenes. That sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> with an intimacy coordinator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Of course, always with an always. intimacy coordinator. Professional. Never. I don't do anything without an intimacy coordinator. These <laughs> days. But yeah, I would have loved to have more scenes with him because mm. we just, I mean, we met in quarantine. Yeah. We. We both climbed over a balcony. We did, yeah. yeah and threw some that. contraband over to each other. And went, like, <laughs> we had like, I literally <laughs> took a, gr- a, a broom with yep. like a, a plastic bag with like a, a b- bubble of alcohol in it and, and cigarettes. And, yep. And they went like literally like 50 floors or yeah, something. Yeah, it was dangerous. And and it's production, is the, this is the last thing production wants to hear about yeah. Yeah. before you start production. Yeah. 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 Well, now after we can... Yeah. Tell all the tales. <laughs> yeah, after. yeah. This is for for the press. You know? Yeah, exactly. Of course. It's for the yeah. fans. We were like this. We did it in for the fans. Yeah. After, after two weeks yeah, exactly. of, of quarantine, like sobbing. Like yeah. this. And she was like, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> but then I wonder if, if one of those pieces of contraband, because I've had one, especially one burning question since I finished this film, specifically finishing the bloopers, where you were wearing Adam West's 1960s yes. Batman costume. <laughs> I gotta hear the story behind that. Genius. So, so, so uh, you know, Kathleen was out of dope sick, of, sh- of shooting dope sick with uh, Michael Keaton, who was the first Batman. And so since he was a Batman as well, he would come to set every day and beat Kathleen, who's your favorite Batman. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I thought that joke was brilliant. So I was like, wouldn't it be, th- wouldn't it be funny if I, I got like the whole, the whole like Adam West Batman from, from the 70s and just wear it in a scene and, and, and this is what happened. I waited for the last scene because I didn't want him to retaliate. So uh, <laughs> that, was, that was the last thing we shot, yeah. But he could have retaliated to put on his Batman costume, obviously. That would have been I, would, I would have loved it. Yeah. Yeah. That would have, my entire childhood would have, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> But it is basically the same film, Ticket to Paradise. Batman Robin is about, like, villains coming together to break up a, a loving relationship. I mean, there's Robin and Batman here. It's, of course, it's all loving love birds, but yeah. pretty similar. Same would, vibe. Would, would I admit Julia Robin? Julia Robin, is that a name? Julia Robin. Oh, it, feels, yes. it feels like a real name. Yeah, yeah it Julia does. Robin. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm quietly running out of time, but I gotta ask, because I know, I mean, your dad, of course, he scored one of the goals in, uh, we all know this, in 1982, he scored one of the goals for France against Italy, one of their first victories, I think in 60 years, I guess. You're so documented. Yeah, yeah. That's legendary, you didn't tell me ma- that. We're talking to a real journalist. I feel like yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I would just like to say, like, haven't you beaten that by now having a scene in the film where you have a passenger saying that you're an upgrade on George Clooney? And there she is. Paul, oh, looks like someone upgraded. I mean, you, you you can take that to your dad and then say, I'm, I, I've am i beat your achievement. That is such a sensitive question, actually. <laughs> right, right, this could be because a family. Because I, I, I grew up, you know, not in my father's shadow, but I I think I grew up with the, the sense that I will never top anything. Uh, my dad was always this entity who played for the French soccer team, Paris. He'd, I always saw my dad as like people telling me, oh, your dad is great, and so people, seeing people in the street like wanting pictures with him. And in my head, I, I made peace with the fact that I would never be more than that, you know? And it, it can't, you don't really think about it, but it kind of it kind of grows on you as you get older and when you think about your accomplishments and everything. And, and that, that shift in my career, definitely brought a lot of perspective and, and um, questioning ab- about my childhood. And he, I unlocked, like, we're getting deep, huh? We're getting deep. <laughs> awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's, so, it's such a sensitive question. Like, yeah. I, I, w- I would not expect that. So, yeah, and my dad kind of is, is like a, a, a proud Jewish mother. He's, you know, he's, <laughs> he's like showing pictures to friends. And I'm like, he was never like this. He's like super, like, low-key and classy. And now he's just like, oh, you need to see that, that, that picture. Look at my son soon. And he's, he's with, and, and I'm like, wow, wow. it's a, like a second phase of my life. Wow, wow. awesome. Guys, thank you so much. I think we got through the thank whole you. emotional register. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. You can skip therapy this week. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you. Yeah. Looking forward to your cop show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Try to keep the snoring down. I have a nasal strip. It's a mystery you're still alone. 